welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be painting on wood. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so today's video is sponsored by Arteza. They sent me their wood and acrylic paint. I'm actually really excited to try out their outdoor paint. Wow, okay. This is what the bottles look like. Let me see if I have to peel this off. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna peel all of the caps. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. Okay, I thought it was gonna be harder. Oh, that is some pretty thick paint. And I'm also going to be using their brush set. Super tiny brushes. They'll be good for like line art. We'll see. I already seen the woods. I was like super excited to see what the woods look like. So I already, I've already taken a little peek. And then that's what it looks like. I've never ever painted in wood. So I don't know how this is gonna go. I've seen what other people have done with this though. Oh, is this actual wood? It looks like it. This is what the wood pieces look like. It does come with a little string, so if you guys wanna hang these up somewhere, there's that. And this is what we have. I have a really tiny one here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you, but we'll see. I'll be using a paint palette and a bigger brush here. Let's look at all the colors that come in this. There's an orange. And here is the last color. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a few of these. Okay, so for this first one, I wanna paint some eyes on here. So let's go ahead and get us some colors. I'm putting down the first layer. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and I'll come back and add on some more detail. Right now it's wet and everything is just like merging. I'm gonna move on to a different one. I'm just gonna have this sit here and let's move on to something else. So for the second piece, I decided to paint some lips because I already did eyes. Okay, so on here, I kind of want to draw the Powerpuff Girls, so, so I'm going to get like a light pink color. Alright, so I got my pink base. I guess I have to let that dry too. I'm going to use the extra pink here. What if we do like a, ooh, we could do like a sunset on this one here. So at this point, I was like, let's just do all the base colors on the wood slices and then start drawing the characters or objects on top of them instead of like doing them one by one and waiting for them to dry. So I just put down the base colors that I was going to paint on top of. I didn't really know like what I was going to paint on them clearly. I mean, for some of the pieces, I did have something in mind, but I try to have my background be something simple and like versatile. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. So here I am adding more details into the eyes. I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out. Oh. 
And right here, I am about to spill my water all over my desk. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, no. Now, wasn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, man. All right, so I'm all done with this one here. This is what it looks like. That was super fun to do. Let's go ahead and move on to the Powerpuff Girl one. I might have drawn her a bit too big, so I was only able to fit in her head. I just had a bit of chalk under here. This one here is another fun one. These tiny brushes came in really handy when it came to coloring smaller spaces. The line art portion was a bit rough because that was my first piece with me doing line art using the brushes and I was super stiff because I was scared I was going to ruin the piece and I did make a few mistakes. This doesn't look as clean as I would have liked it to. You know the Powerpuff Girls have like really crisp line art and I was kind of going for that but that didn't happen here. Alright, so for this next piece, I wanted to do a landscape. When I looked up examples of wood slice pieces, I was mostly seeing a lot of landscapes and like other stuff. So I wanted to include at least one of those in here. It's not one of my favorite pieces, it just looks a bit messy, but yeah, I think I just need more practice. So here I am moving on to the lips. I definitely didn't know how to paint these lips, but I still like the results. Here is another fun piece. I wanted to draw some Rick and Morty fan art, so I decided to draw Morty on this super bright background with some type of liquid coming out of his mouth. I thought it would be cool. I'm gonna let you guys be the judge of that. <laughs> I actually thought I would need to add like a ton of layers on this piece because the background is such a bright color and I was trying to paint his skin. I was like, oh, I might have to like double layer this, but the paint is so opaque that I didn't really need to do that at all. So I'm super happy about that. And I also kind of messed up the line art on this piece here. Yeah, <laughs> but I still like it. Here is my favorite piece of them all. It might be because it's pink and purple. Or 
It has no face from Spirited Away, which is my favorite Ghibli movie as of now. But I drew him a little bit off-centered, which is irking me just a little bit, just because you could have centered him, man. And here is the final result. Let's go ahead and move on to the next piece. All right, so for this one, I wanted to do a simpler pattern. So I went with a little strawberries and yeah, that was a little pattern. I decided to paint on the back of the landscape wood slice. Um, it's supposed to be a sliced watermelon. I hope you guys think it looks like that. <laughs> With this next piece, I wanted to do something that was in my style, so this little piece was born. All right, so this is the last piece and it's another one of my favorite characters from Studio Ghibli and it's Ponyo. This was the end of the day. I was super tired so this piece didn't turn out as I would have liked it to. It doesn't look all that bad. It just doesn't look like I was envisioning. So, yep. All right, so these are all the pieces I've done in today's video. I really want to thank Arteza for sending me these supplies and for sponsoring today's video. I really enjoy using these paints and the wood slices. I will have a link in the description to where you can find these supplies. Arteza is also doing a giveaway, so I will have details of that in the description, so be sure to check that out. I really want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys liked today's video. Let me know which one is your favorite and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.